Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Thea Bautista and I do videos on beauty, lifestyle, and a lot of adulting related topics such as Adulting 101, tips and tricks for working millennials and Gen Z, and how to budget your expenses. So if you're into those types of videos, please be sure to hit the subscribe and bell button beside it so that you get notified every time we have a new upload. In today's video guys, I'll be sharing with you the things that I got this Christmas from me to me with lots of love. <laughs> so guys, this video is not to encourage you to splurge on your wants lang ha. Ito mga binili kong to, pinag-ipunan ko talaga sila. And I actually had a savings target for this year. I was able to surpass that amount. So I thought, you know what? It's time for me to reward myself for all the hard work. As in, hard work sa full-time job and side hustle. And I was contemplating kung bibilihin ko ba yung high-end bag na gusto ko. Or I will buy all the other things that I want which are on my wish list. And I thought it was more practical na bilhin ko na lang lahat ng ibang mga gusto ko sa wishlist kaysa yung isang item lang na pagkamahal-mahal. And because of that, I was able to, you know, buy... Ingay. I was able to buy furniture for my house. Itong sofa na pinag-uupuan ko. Itong full-length mirror. And at the same time, I was also able to upgrade my filming setup. Tapos, buy pa all of these things that I want. Lahat ng to napili ko dahil hindi ko binili luxury bag. But anyway, guys, I started buying my Christmas gifts noong end of October pa. Tapos, na-build up siya up to December. So, hindi siya isang bagsakan lang lahat. And all of these items were part of my wish list na alam kong gusto kong bilhin for myself. So, I guess we'll start with my favorite purchase right here. Yes. Guys, just to show you, my iPhone is so beat up. Kita nyo ba? Basag na yan and all that. And more than 2 years na to. Siguro 2 years and 2 months na siya sa akin. Pero gumagana pa naman siya. Hindi pa naman siya, alam mo yun, bumibigay. So sabi ko, patagalin ko pa siya ng 1 more year before ko palitan. Siguro by end of 2020 ko siya papalitan. And then for the meantime, bibilhin ko na muna yung gusto kong watch. So, I finally got myself the Apple Watch, which is Series 5. I've always wanted to get myself this one since 2017. Simula nung nag-switch ako sa Apple, gusto ko na siyang bilihin. Ang dami ko nang nabasang review, research, lahat ng mga friends ko na meron nito. Every time na maiisipan ko bumili, tinatanong ko yung review nila. And every single time, sinasabi nila, go buy Thea. So, dalawa yung sizes niya, 40 and 44. And since manipis lang yung wrist ko, I got 40. So, pag bumili kayo, you have this, yung mga cords, and then the Apple Watch itself right here. And then, you have a separate uh, box for the band. Ang maganda dito is may dalawang sizes ng band na kasama. So, ito yung isang side. Kung mas madipis yung wrist mo, yung small to medium, kung mas malapad, medium to large. So, ako, sa small to medium lang, ayan na siya, guys. So, actually, sa lahat ng mga nabili ko for myself, Aside from the upgrade na studio equipment, ito yung pinakagusto ko. So, next guys, dito na muna tayo. I got a few random items. Pinagsama-sama ko lang sa isang paper bag. The first one is a Shariol necklace. I have the Celtic bangle. And this one is a rose gold necklace. And meron siyang authenticity card. Yung mga tapos, ayan. So, as you can see... Maganda naman yung proportion ng chain sa pendant. Pero, honestly speaking, medyo nalalakihan ako sa kanya. Parang sumisigaw siya na, Hey, may necklace sa konso. Oh, tignan nyo. Nung pinili ko kasi to, tinignan ko lang sa photos na sinendang friend ko. And hindi ko inisip na ganito siya kakapal. Kasi never ko pa siyang nakita in person. Tapos pag sinasearch ko naman siya online, parang ang ganda tignan sa mga nagsusuot. Pero yun nga, it's a lot bigger than what I prefer. But, Nonetheless, maganda pa rin siya suotin. Pwede mo siyang adjust eh. Pwedeng mahaba, pwedeng maiksi. Ang kapal niya. Pero okay lang naman. Maganda naman siya. Lalo na pag plain lang yung suot mo. Like there's a nice accent. Pero kailangan itoon down mo yung earrings mo. Kasi OA naman kung hoop to. Tapos ang laki na to. Tapos ang laki ng bracelet mo. By the way pala, this one usually retails for mga 17 to 19,000 sa stores. Sa duty free, around $270 siya. Pero nung nag-sale, bili ko sa kanya is 97 pesos lang. I got myself the Clinique Happy na 100ml. To those of you who are asking me what my favorite perfume is, it's this one guys. Screenshot niya na. Yung box ito, color orange. And um, I like a lot of perfumes, but my top one has to be this. It's a nice, fruity, 
scent na very unique yung scent niya. Parang pag naamoy mo siya, alam mo na clinic happy siya. I also like the Victoria Secret Bombshell. Uh, the DKNYB Delicious in Green and Pink. Yun, yun yung mga go-to ko na perfume pag kailangan ko mag-replenish. But this is my top one favorite, Clinic Happy. The last two items I have in this paper bag are card games. I have here the Monopoly Deal. It's 200 pesos. And then I also got the Uno Flip. I haven't played this one yet, but I'm excited to try this. Dati kasi, di ba, Uno cards lang. Ngayon, may DOS cards na. Meron ng Uno Flip. Ang dami ng variants. I got myself several books. So, actually, ito planner ito. But... Um, here are four books that I got myself this Christmas. And for 2020, ang target ko kasi is to read one book per month. So before nagagawa ko yun, uh, either physical book or audible will do. Pero ewan ko ba, this year sobrang nabisi ako na parang hindi ko na siya nagagawa. So I just wanted to get back into the habit of reading. So the first one is... You are a badass. How to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. Very easy to read, though. Pinabasa ko lang to pag nagpapapedicure ako and I'm halfway through it. So, I'll be able to finish it before the year ends. And then, for January, I'll be reading Start With Why, How Great Leaders Inspire Everyone to Take Action. So, ayan. It's highly recommended sa Goodreads ata. Doon ako madalas nagbabasa ng reviews. Actually, I usually go to the bookstore, tapos pupunta ako sa self-help section, and then i-google ko uh, yung mga reviews sa mga books, and that's how I choose the book. But for February, I have Atomic Habits, An Easy and Proven Way to Build Good Habits and Break Bad Ones by James Clear. The last book that I have, and this is for March or the latter part of the year, depende na lang kung maisipan kong bumili pa na ibang book or mag-audible, this is We Need to Talk, How to Have Conversations That Matter by Celeste Headley. And then I also got myself a planner. Now, I plan my calendar through iCloud para nakasync sa lahat. But there are a lot of tasks that I don't have to schedule sa calendar, pero I need to do. So for my to-do list, I have this planner. And then let's move on to the next paper bag, which is from Kipling. Nakapopos pa ba ako? But Kipling was on sale. So the first one, I got a really nice sling bag. Like, sobrang perfect lang ng size. Ayan, ang cute ang color. It's pink with a hint of lilac undertone. Feeling ko lang medyo high maintenance siya. Pero kasi lahat ng sling bags ko, guys, sobrang formal tingnan. Like Coach, Teddy Blake. Alam mo parang palagi ka mag o opisina Kahit casual na casual na yung wear ko, yung bag ko, sobrang profesh pa rin tingnan, guys. So, I've been looking for a nice sling bag na okay for casual wear. And kanina nga na pumunta ako sa Kipling, nakita ko to. So, this is originally, I think, 7,000 plus. But I got it for 4,200 pesos only. And I like the size of the bag kasi maliit lang siya but it can pack a lot. Kasha yung phone ko, yung wallet, yung power bank, um, pen. And I think even the planner fits here. So I can also use this to work pag Fridays pag kailangan mas casual yung wear. Hindi ko mahanap yung wallet ko but I'm currently using a leather wallet that I made myself. Like I made it from scratch. Ako yung nag-cut ng leather, nag-punch ng holes, nag-stitch. And I like how it looks. But for some reason, I feel like I spend a lot of money when I use it. Hindi ko alam ko ako lang to, may pamahiin sa wallet. But may certain wallets na mas matipid ako. May certain wallets na magastos ako. And that wallet, magastos ako. It's not just because it's a Christmas season, pero basta palabas ang palabas yung pera sa kanya. So I don't want to use it anymore. Maybe I can use it for my cards sa pag-store dun sa aking storage area. But not for my daily wallet. So I decided to pick this one up. And it has several compartments. So, ayan siya. I think original price ito is 2 8 to 3 plus, And I got it for only 1 to Naka-sale. So, naka-markdown na sila. Tapos may plus 15% off pa. Kanina pa nalalaglag tong paper bag na to. So, let's move on to the Uniqlo paper bag. I actually bought a couple of clothes from Uniqlo, even H&M. Pero hindi ko na sila papakita. Like, this is one of my Christmas gifts for myself. Pero nasa labahan sila or nasa cabinet. So, ito na lang yung hindi ko pa nagagamit. So, I got myself the Uniqlo Easy Satin Ankle Pants. Which are my favorite type of pants. Kasi they're garterized. So, you can gain a few pounds, lose a few pounds, and they will still fit. Magsanggip salamat ka. Wuhan to sawa all the meat and rice you want to eat. 
makakahinga ka pa rin kasi instead of pumutok yung botones mo, mag expand lang yung pants. So, this is very, very nice. And even the quality is nice. All of my office pants are from Uniqlo. For the brown, khaki, and white, mararecommend ko yung satin na version. Tapos yung darker shades, mas mararecommend ko yung parang slacks na material. But these retail for $1,490 each, pero I got them for $1,290. Ever since na pag-decided ko na ito yung forever pants ko, uh, I only buy them when they're on sale ng $1,290. So, I don't pay full price for them anymore. So last November, I went to Korea with my family and there was this gray coat na gamit ko halos araw-araw kasi sobrang gustong gusto ko siya. And I received a lot of DMs from you guys asking me kung saan ko nakuha yung coat. So nakuha ko yung coat, guys, sa Bershka. Medyo mabigat lang siya, guys. Pang tipong pang autumn to winter siya. And this is how it looks like. Super nice niya. Tapos, meron siyang provision for belt. So, if you want to tie it na parang robe style, pwede din naman. It's affordable. Like, hindi siya super mura ha. But it's affordable for its quality. So, it's 3,995 sa Bershka. Hindi siya nakasale. Yun yung regular price niya. Sa 3,995, pwede ka makita ng coat. Pero usually, mas manipis sila. Tapos, for this quality, usually yung mga presyo nito, mga 7 to 8,000. Or mga 6 to 8,000. So, sobrang steel na siya for me. And, if you're someone who loves to travel, tapos gusto mong experience yung ibang season, like winter, spring, uh, and fall, I suggest that you invest in a good coat. Kasi marerepeat mo siyang gamitin. And, iba talaga eh. Kahit nga isa lang yung coat na dala mo, basta maganda yung quality niya, kaya niya itawid ang iyong travel. Kesa, ang dami mong binili, maninipis, ngatog na ngatog ka throughout your travels. Next, guys, I have this pair of nude block heel and then sandal type siya. So, matagal na ako naghahanap ng heels, guys, na gantong style. Pero ang problem ko was that most of the ones that I see, sobrang tataas, like 3 inches above or sobrang leet. Ito, I think, around 2 and a half inches yung height niya, which is perfect for my legs and feet. Kasi, tita na ako, guys. Jutanders na. Like, ang daling sumakit ng binti ko at ako pag naka-heels. Sobrang comfy sa pa. As in, I'm not exaggerating. Out of all the heels that I've tried, ito yung hindi ko sinukuan. Ito yung hindi ko feel na feel na ang sakit na ng binti ko. So, this is by the brand Matthews. Ayan siya. Um, I got it sa SM Department Store for less than 2,000 pesos. I also got two shoes from Tom's. So, ito yung first pair. Ito yung first option ko. Ito yung primary shoe ko. Floral embroidery woven stripe. And it's an espadrille style. Ayan siya. Tapos, guys, tignan nyo naman yung design. Super nice. So, it's plain enough para i mo with something plain. But it has the embroidery here. Kung gusto mong mas dressy yung outfit mo. I like the fit of these shoes. Yung 7.5 niya, saktong-sakto sa pa ako pag naka-manipis ako foot socks. Actually, pwede rin di ako mag-foot socks. Pero nandidiri kasi ako pag walang foot socks eh. So, this is the first pair. Super nice. And this one is around 4.9. Ito yung nakuha kong free. I didn't have to pay for this. It's just a nice denim style na material. Tapos, meron lang siyang fox accents and this accent lining here. Na pag suot mo siya, nakikita yung orange siya. So, ang ganda na itsura. Uh, this one, you can wear with dark pants, jeans, even if you have like, right now, I'm wearing a dress. I can pair this up with what I'm wearing. So, yan. Low-key lang din siya, kahit na cute siyang may accent. The last Christmas gift that I got myself was the leather tote making class. Really proud of this, guys. I made this! So, parang ang nangyari dito sa bag is flat siya na leather and then kinot mo siya in such that pag pinold mo siya, ganito yung kakalabasan. So, what I did was I punched the holes here. I stitched everything. I chose the color of this, um, the color of the handle. I also installed the rivets, the stitches. I also included my initials here. Overall, this is a very nice output. Siyempre, hard work ko to. So, if it flex ko siya. But, I like this, guys, because malambot yung material. Hindi siya stiff, pero it stands. And I can also fit my MacBook Pro na 13-inch dito. Kahit pa halang or patayo, kasha siya. Either way. So, ayun. I'm really happy with this one. And it's been my go-to bag sa work every single day. Hindi ko na nagagamit yung iba kong bags. But, yeah. Really proud of this. So, aside from those, guys, I also got furniture. 
appliances and studio equipment to upgrade my filming equipment which I'll be sharing in a separate video but I'll be listing them in the description box below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Happy holidays to you and your loved ones. Bye! Low bat taxi ako guys. Nagmamadali ako ng ano, outro. Bye!